Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. Over the past couple of weeks, we've had a makeup declutter video and a makeup empties video, but today it is time to address what has come in of late to my makeup or beauty collection in general, because it's not all just makeup. There's hair care and skin care as well. So this is what I have brought in in quarter three. It was my birthday in quarter three, so there's more here than I think would normally be here at a different time of year. So there's some things that I got for my birthday, there's some replacements, there's my Liberty Beauty boxes. We'll get into it. So this is everything that needs to be added on to my inventory. For those of you who have just clicked on this for a straightforward beauty haul, I keep spreadsheets of my beauty collection because I used to have basically an addiction to overspending on new makeup, constantly needing to be trying everything that was new, constantly needing to know what was the latest thing on the market as if it was my job, which it was not. And I have over the last five or six years been addressing my relationship with consumerism, particularly with regards to beauty, which was where it really seemed to spiral out of control. So I'm now quite organised, I have spreadsheets, I track what comes in, I track what I use up. So I will put the spreadsheet values of the additions up at the end. I'm not going to talk about the values of everything with regards to my inventory as I go along, so it will just seem like a normal beauty haul for those of you who have clicked on for that. For those of you who are interested in the figures and how it adds to my inventory, I will put them in at the end. All of that said, let's get into what I brought into my inventory for quarter three. But I'm not going to go through things in any particular order, I'll just grab what comes first. What has come first is the H Beauty bag. Everything that is in here is from Gucci Beauty. So. If you're new around here, Gucci Beauty basically steals my heart. In fact, I mean, if you look at my wallpaper, it's not from Gucci. I'm not quite living that life. It's very that. If you look at their counters and the sort of florals and the pink and it's all very sort of, it's like a vintage beauty parlour. I absolutely love it. Everything I've tried, I've really enjoyed formula-wise and things as well. And obviously, if I'd been disappointed by that, I wouldn't keep going back to the brand. But yeah, it's very much... Their aesthetic just sings to my soul. Resultingly, I do always have a couple of Gucci things on my wish list at any given moment. There was a few things that when my birthday was coming up and people were asking, these things came up. And I think that's worth saying here is that although I got things for my birthday, generally people don't blind buy me things. They tend to ask me what I want. So I did pick most of this, although quite a lot of it was gifted. Um, by friends and family, not by brands, obviously. It's, it's stuff that I would have wanted anyway. So starting off, I got a Gucci lipstick from my friend Lauren. So this is one of their brilliant formulas. I'm sure if you say that in an Italian accent, it sounds much chicer, but I feel like me saying it that way will sound ridiculous. So it's the Rouge de Beauté Brilliant, which is the Glow and Care Lip Colour. Now I have one of these already. The shade that I have already is Lucy Dark Orange and it is probably, I got it last year and I would say it's my favourite lipstick of last year. I would never before, I've always been a matte lipstick girl, but the, the Lucy one in this shade completely changed me. Like I absolutely adored it. So the other one that went onto my list in this shade was this one, which is Peggy Taupe. Now I already have Peggy Taupe in the matte formula. I've got a video all about that, which I will link up in the eye, but I also really wanted to get a shot at it in the Brilliant formula. My intention is that I, I have a series of lipstick videos. In fact, I'll put the lipstick video playlist up in the eye where I go through a lipstick in depth, show you on, show you applying, go through my collection and try and see what it's similar to, to you know, see if you already own something in your collection that's very similar. And I probably will make those lipstick focused videos about each of these lipsticks that I've got to show you from Gucci. Uh, but I will give you a quick swatch here. So this is Peggy Taupe in the Brilliant Formula. So I enjoy like a warm brownie red and obviously this is very much up that street. As I say, I'll do a video about this and I'll do a video comparing Peggy Taupe in the Brilliant Formula to the Peggy Taupe in the Matte Formula. Now, the other three that I got came in this super cute box. I love this. I am such a sucker for packaging, so this is just beautiful. It did have a very nicely tied Gucci ribbon around it. The three lipsticks in this, first of all, I couldn't believe this happened. So as I said, in that brilliant formula, I have got a shade already 
called Lucy Dark Orange which has been just like my favourite thing and I think I've spoken about it in a video before or did I just do a blog post? I think I might have just done a blog post about it actually. When I said they used to do Lucy Dark Orange in a matte formula and because I am more of a matte lipstick girl usually I was so gutted that I had not known about it when it was out in the matte formula. I think it came out in 2020 when I was very deep in a we do not look at beauty headspace of my no buy but they have brought it back. I think it is limited edition again but I feel like with Gucci limited edition things tend to hang around for quite a long time. So Lucy Dark Orange is back in the matte formula and I was so excited about that. So that is Lucy Dark Orange. Because I am going to do lipstick videos I'm not going to linger too much on any of these. This next one is Francis Fire which I love the name of it reminds me of Francis Fryer from Calamity Jane if any of you are Calamity Jane fans. This is actually the lipstick that I have got on today so the one that I'm wearing whilst I'm talking to you just now but I will also swatch it so that you can see how it looks you know obviously not with my lip colour underneath. I mean you can definitely see a family of colours that I enjoy appearing here. The last one is Valeria Rose. Now I had first seen this Again, I think all three of these colours are theoretically limited edition, but as I say, limited edition tends to hang around. So this was limited edition and I first saw this in February when I was in H Beauty in Edinburgh with my gran. Obviously, I didn't get it because I was on my no buy, so I did get it for my birthday. And this one's, I was going to say it's slightly different, what's the best thing I'll uh, swatch it and we'll definitely see that it's not all that different, but I mean it's still in the family. But it's it's definitely a very different kind of lipstick. You know, it's much more sort of neutral kind of everyday. But yeah, so that is Peggy Taupe in The Brilliant Formula, Lucy Dark Orange, Francis Fire and Valeria Rose from Gucci Beauty. In fact, before I go and take this off, I'm just going to switch quickly and talk about Shantikai. This was actually in my recent makeup declutter because I used it, so it was up for consideration. This is their Lip Chic in the shade Salon. Again, limited edition, but currently still on the Shantikai website. So I will just swatch this for you too before I go and wash my arm off. And this is one that I wouldn't have bought if it wasn't for Lucy Dark Orange from Gucci because that really showed me that I didn't need to have a matte lipstick all the time anymore. I have been very, very on the matte and I've, I'm still not a massive lip gloss fan. I think I've got quite a small mouth and I must have quite an expressive mouth. I feel like whenever I use lip gloss, I push it all to the corners and it ends up and it's, it's not good. So yeah, I've always been very dedicated to matte lipsticks that don't move. But when I got the Lucy Dark Orange, which I'm pointing at my arm, but the, the Brilliant Formula, which is not on my arm, um, that was my first lipstick in a long time that had not been super matte and the thing that really impressed me about the Brilliant Formula was that it was glossy but not sticky and it didn't move about, it didn't all sort of migrate into the corners of my mouth and then over the rest of my face. So that opened a door for me and if I hadn't got that last year I probably wouldn't have been as interested in this formula because it's, it's very much of an ilk, it's quite glossy, it's really really pretty. I'll insert a cutaway of me wearing this one. I really love the colour, obviously it's very much in that same colour family but I think with my hair and eyes it, it suits my complexion so yeah I will insert a cutaway. I think it's a really really pretty one. So that's from Shantikai in the shade Salon. Well I'll just finish talking about the Shantikai stuff before I go back to Gucci Beauty but yeah I got this. So my gran ordered directly, I got that from my gran for my birthday, she ordered directly from Shantikai and um, I feel like it wasn't on the Space NK website because usually I would have sent her a Space NK link um, but it came with this postcard which I just think is super pretty and I don't know what I'm going to do with it but I thought it was really really cute so I have held on to that to show it to you guys. And I also got a little sample of Shantikai's Stress Repair Concentrate so for those of you who are interested in the inventory side of things, this will need to be added on, but it was a free gift that came with purchase that was a purchase that I got for my birthday and didn't purchase for myself. What a long sentence. Looking forward to trying that out. I really like the Shantikai makeup that I've had, but I've had quite a few samples of different skincare and things, although I wasn't a fan of their mascara. I thought their mascara was just okay um, when I had a sample of that before, but I feel like for how expensive it is for me none of the skincare has yet blown me away but I'm always always excited to try it so 
looking forward to trying this one. Anyway, to return to Gucci Beauty, uh, because my gran bought the three lipsticks, I got a little free pouch with some things in it and also a little free makeup brush. So again, these are not things you can actually buy, but thought you'd be interested and that I would share them. So this is a little brush. So I think they've said it's a blush brush, but I feel like you could definitely use it for blush or even for foundation. I think it'd be quite good for getting in like under the eyes because it is a little bit smaller than a sort of standard buffing brush. It is super, super soft. Now that I've filmed this, because I've been keeping the Gucci Beauty stuff good because I knew I wanted to film it. So now that I've filmed this, I'm going to start using it. Very exciting. And then in the pouch, I've got a little sample of the Gucci Mascara. Really looking forward to trying this. Uh, I got a Gucci sharpener, cute, very cute. And then also that needs added to my inventory, the Gucci mattifying primer, a little deluxe sample size of that. So all of that needs added to the inventory. Can you see the fear in my eyes when I think about adding this to my inventory? That's all gonna add up super quickly. I feel like this video is getting really long, so let's try and quickly get through some stuff. Some replacements. I got a replacement wet brush, Mine just had had its life. If you are a wet brush fan, go to TK Maxx. I'm not a great TK Maxx shopper. My friend Lauren is very, very good at TK Maxx. She's got patience that I absolutely do not have. She alerted me to the fact that there's usually wet brushes in TK Maxx. And like, if you go in and you just go straight to the hairbrush bit, there's not loads of hairbrushes to root through. You'll just have a quick look and there will, there's generally always wet brushes because wet brush do that thing where they put out new designs and that's the ones that are going to be in boots but the old designs end up in TK Maxx so there's usually a few to choose from and because it's TK Maxx if you're in one week and you don't see anything if you go in a couple of weeks later there's usually been new ones arrived in that time so yeah and it ends up being 4 99 as opposed to the full price so replacement wet brush other replacements that I have brought in my MAC Eyebrow Styler and Brow Gel, both in the shade Penny. So if you are a redhead, I would recommend these. I've actually got MAC Lingering Brow Pencil on at the moment because I'm trying to just finish that one up even though it's not quite the right shade for me. Um, but I've used the Penny Brow Gel over the top just to give it a little shot of warmth and bring it more in line with my hair. So have repurchased both of these. Another replacement, so this wasn't a repurchase for my first time trying this serum, but a replacement vitamin C daytime serum was what I was going for. So I got the Sally Hughes Must See Anytime Daily Serum. I am nearly finished this. I got this right at the start of July. It is nearly November at this point, and I've only just about nearly finished it, and it's a 30 ml, so it's not particularly big. But I have not been able to use this daily because this pills so badly on me no matter what combination of products I use over the top I understand the basis of like water repels silicon based things like I get that it's not that it is just that no matter what I use over the top of this it starts pilling and if I take this out and use all those same other things no pilling so it's definitely this I did have a quick look on boots and actually if you look at the one star reviews of this it's all people saying the same thing about the pilling. So I don't know what's causing the pilling, but clearly it's actually not just me, despite the fact that I have not seen anybody else. And that's not to say there isn't anybody else. It's just that I have not seen anybody online say anything other than glowing things about this. So yeah, this has been horrible for me. If I was not on a no-buy and I was not, I'm a bit, when I'm on a no-buy and it's a replacements only no-buy, I do get into a very all, I'm an, an all or nothing person, so if I'm in this headspace, if I've got something that I can use, I will use it until it's done before I feel like I can justify buying a replacement, even though technically this has then not been used for the purpose I bought it for, because I've had to use this at night, I wash my face as soon as I finished for the day, I've come in from work or the gym or whatever, wash my face, put this on, go and make my dinner, like, faff about, do whatever I'm doing that night, edit a video, watch some television, do a bit of work, whatever it is. And then like two hours later, do the rest of my skincare. And I still, still get a bit of pilling, like hours later. It's insane, but I cannot use this in the morning. Like it's, 
and it makes my it makes my other skincare pill before I even get to makeup. It's not even a makeup issue. It is my skincare pills before I even get that far. So it's not usable in the daytime for me. But I have persevered. But it's nearly done and I will be so glad to see the back of it. Lots of people obviously do not have the pilling issue. But I have the pilling issue and delving into not the online reviews but the Boots.com reviews of the product. I'm not alone in that so would not recommend. <laughs> Speaking of serums I've got a little sample to add on of the Dr Dennis Gross Fill and Repair Serum. Really interested in this. Obviously from a trial size like this you're not going to see the full results of things but I feel like I definitely want to try the full size of this and like go through the course of using it. I have got just a couple of lines on my face so I'm in my early 30s so there are some fine lines there. Um, but I feel like in particular, because I am a full-time glasses wearer and I i mean I can't see, like, if I didn't have my contact lenses in right now I wouldn't be able to see this camera which is that far away, like arm's length away from me. Um, that is how bad my eyesight is. But I probably made it much worse because during my vain younger years at school I didn't want to wear my glasses so I just wouldn't and then I would frown to be able to focus on what the, the teacher was putting up. So I have got a line right here that is so much more developed than any other line on my face because I frown. I was frowning for years to concentrate my eyes and I think I just frown now whenever I'm concentrating or focusing like without thinking about it my face goes to that expression. I need to get into a proper routine with it. I have tried Botox and I want to get properly into being regular with that um, next year but I've had Botox kind of on and off and that obviously will help me stop making that expression and making the line deeper but I'm hoping that using this as a very sort of targeted filler treatment like straight on, well filler is in a filler serum, not real filler, straight on that line will help to just kind of slow that one down and once the rest of my face catches up I probably won't be as bothered but I just feel this one is way ahead of the rest of my face um, so that is what I'm using this for and I've not had any reaction or anything to it from the trial size which I think is really all you can say the majority of the time about trial sizes. So I am very interested in this and will be putting the full size on my Christmas list I think. Completely unglamorous product but one that I really rely on and will always have in stock are foot peels. So I bought this set, so this actually was advertised as a box of four but this is how it came from Cult Beauty which was just four individual packs in like, like a sandwich bag. So bit strange I was expecting like one box with four packets but we got four individual boxes um but yeah so this is from Patchology it's they're calling it the Posh Peel Pedicure it is the same as the ones that I have spoken about in the past where usually I've bought them from a brand called OK and it's the apple foot peel that I've generally bought but there seems to have been stock issues with that recently so I saw this in Cult Beauty. Sally Hughes has a Cult Beauty discount code that always seems to be live. So I got the pack of four, used her discount code and actually that meant that individually each of these has worked out as less expensive than one of the OK ones would have anyway. I have actually used one of these so the four are being added in and then one will be in my next empties. I find them really effective so if you've not used these before they're like a little pair of boots almost that you fill with the liquid. You tape them around your ankles, you keep them on your feet for I think an hour. I can't see on the back of the box but um, I think it's an hour, it's maybe maybe two hours, an hour to two hours. You take them off and in the next, so it will take generally a week to two weeks to start but your feet will start peeling and the peeling process is vile. There's, it's satisfying but vile. Um, but yeah basically all your dead skin will come off your feet and you will be left with baby feet and it's lovely. So yeah. I tend to do one of these every couple of months and really really rate them. And then because I bought these from Patchology uh, I got a little free gift that Cult Beauty were doing which is a pack of the rosy eye gels from Patchology when you spent whatever on Patchology which this must have qualified me for. So I shall also need to add these on to my inventory. I also got a birthday gift. I was going to say a birthday gift from Guerlain, they're not from Guerlain the brand. But I got a gift from family member which came from Guerlain. 
I was there so I did pick this stuff in person. First of all the blooding primer. This is actually being discontinued which is why I bought it because I don't really need any primers at the moment. I didn't buy it but I picked it. Um, I don't really need any primers at the moment but this one's been discontinued and I love the smell. It's got a real Parma Violet slick meteorite smell if you're a girl and fan you'll know what I mean when I say meteorite smell and it's been discontinued so I got this primer. Also being discontinued from Guerlain is the Mad Eyes range. So these are eyeshadow sticks and there's two colours. So this one is the warm brown slash golden brown combination. So these may still be lingering about at certain counters or you might find them on certain places on the internet but I am quite a big fan of eyeshadow sticks as I'm sure lots of you will know. So that's the golden brown and then the matte brown. So really, really sad to see these go. This has been on my list to buy for absolutely ages, but it just took it being discontinued for me to say, no, I want to prioritize that. Somebody please buy me it for my birthday. So really pleased that I finally got it before it goes away forever. I am a collector of the Guerlain lipstick cases. So I didn't get a new case, but I get two new products to use with them. One of which is a lipstick in the shade 168. Again, being discontinued. Very much in the, the colour family that I enjoy, sort of peachy, orangey shade. So that is number 168. So if you own that, might be your reminder to pull it back out. Also, because I do have quite a lot of the lipstick cases, I have been saying for ages that I should get lip balm to go in the case because then like it's a product that I could just be taking out and about with me no matter what else I'm doing like even if I'm not wearing any makeup that day I could be getting the joy of seeing my lipstick cases uh, to use with my lip balm so I got the lip balm it's colourless so I won't bother swatching that for you that was like such a nice thing to get as a gift because I feel like that's the sort of thing that you probably well maybe you would buy it for yourself like I'll probably end up repurchasing it if I really like it once I start using it but I feel like like a luxury lip balm is probably not something a lot of people would spend that kind of money on for themselves so really nice thing to get as a gift particularly if you get it for somebody who you know has the cases and collects the cases anyway and you don't want to get them another case this is a nice thing to go in it because I feel like I would spend the money on a luxury lipstick but just not like a clear lip balm, you know what I mean? So nice thing to get as a gift. And the last makeup product from Guerlain is their Mad Eyes Eyeliner. Because I have been on, like I went on my first beauty in Ovine 2018. So although I've had obviously gifts and I've done low buys and I've, and I've had years where I've been allowing myself to buy things on holiday and whatever, there's, there's a lot of my makeup categories I've not updated in a long time. And a lot of my eyeliners are starting to get quite dried out. So... I decided to give the Guerlain one a try. There it is there. It is very black and it is a very sort of long thin tip. So I got that so I'm going to get rid of some of my others. I think I already got rid of some of them but I can definitely get rid of more now that I've got one that is fresh and honestly I should like swatch that next to some of them and they look grey in comparison so they look a bit grey anyway, not even in comparison, so yeah. Nice to have a nice fresh one. And then samples wise from Guerlain, I got a little travel size of the Orchidea Imperial Micro Lift Serum. And then a little trial size of their Poirot Gold 24K Primer. I think I said that was the last makeup item, didn't I? Technically not, this is a makeup item. Uh, I've had a few of these samples, so I'm sure I will finish this one up and I'm sure I'll finish this up as well. One of the replacements that I needed was a body scrub and I decided to get the Sol de Janeiro Bom Dia body scrub. I was really interested in this because it's got AHAs and BHAs in it. I thought something that was doing a bit of chemical as well as it does have like physical exfoliating grains in. You can see I have very nearly finished this so this will be in an empties fairly soon. But this makes me really quite itchy. Not badly enough that I've stopped using it. Obviously I'm going to finish it up but I don't think I would repurchase it. I am, I've seen that Frank Body do a glycolic scrub that's about £17 so this was £39 so that's less than half the price. So still got that chemical aspect to it. This is the corresponding Bomb Dia Bright Clarifying AHA and BHA Body Wash. So this is just obviously the travel size. I had bought the body scrub as a replacement but my family knew 
I was interested in trying the body wash and the cream that matched with it. Um, so my gran actually got this for me as a little extra and she gave me it before we went to Dublin, which we went away for my birthday, so I had it to travel with. And this smells so good. Um, I don't know really if it's doing much in the way of AHA, BHA exfoliating, um, but I would like to think it is. But it just, it smells really, really good and it actually, the smell is strong enough that when you come out of the shower you can still smell it on yourself. Not in a completely overpowering way, like you go on and you could put perfume on, um, but it's a really, really pleasant smell. If you like the smell, it smells subjective, but to me it's a very pleasant smell and I really, really like the shower gel, so I would definitely repurchase this. Then bringing up the rear of uh, that collection, my gran also got me the little travel size of the Bombardier Bright body cream. Also smells lovely. The body cream and the body wash smell different to the scrub. The scrub has a scent through it but you can smell whatever the other ingredients in the scrub are. You know whatever the seeds and stuff are that make up the actual grain. So the scrubs get a kind of slightly oaty almost smell kind of competing against the scent itself. Eh, whereas the, the body cream and the wash just have the Sol de Janeiro smell and I really like this. But unfortunately, although the body wash, and I don't know if it's just because I wash myself with it and it's not staying on my body, really like that, definitely would buy it again. The scrub makes me itchy and I don't know if it makes me itchy because it doesn't make me itchy at first, but because it's got the HA, BHAs in it, make sure I'm a bit damp. Then I'll turn the shower off, kind of wait a couple of minutes, sort of shake off the excess washer, and then I will use the scrub on my skin. I'll let it sit there for like, two minutes or so just so that the HA BHA aspects got time to work and usually by the time I am about to turn the shower back on I'm pretty itchy but I don't really ever see like I used it last night just to scrub on its own and it doesn't bring me out in a rash or anything like that but where I'm going with this is that this does bring me out in a rash from my waist up so on my legs it's fine for whatever reason, skin there must be more resilient. Uh, but yeah, the first time I used this, I had like, it looked almost like I had chicken pox on my stomach. Um, and this was the only thing that I had used that was different to anything else. So I was a bit like, oh, it must be that. Stopped using it. The rash went away, used it again, and it came back. So yeah, fine on my legs. Doesn't seem to agree with my upper body. So as much as I enjoy the scent, etc. I will not be repurchasing this just to use it on my legs because that would be ridiculous. And luckily I have not reacted to this next product from Sol de Janeiro, or the last product that I've got from Sol de Janeiro in this haul anyway. So this was one of my big presents, physically as well, um, and it is the big size of their Beja Elastic Cream. So this is so pretty. I was interested in this mainly because I liked this limited edition tub with these birds. I love a bird motif as you can possibly gather from the wallpaper. I got this. I don't like the smell of this as much as I like the smell of the brightening one. This to me smells a bit like yogurt. Not mad on the smell. And the other thing about this is that I have to be like completely dry before I put this on. If I come out the shower and sort of towel myself off and sit about in my dressing gown and then go to put this on and I'm just, even that sort of, you know when you've been in a humid space like in your bathroom when you've got the shower on, it's all steamy and whatever and you just don't get completely kind of bone dry even though you're not wet as such. Even like that, this pills. So I need to be like bone dry. I basically need to have my shower go away and do some things and then I can put this on once my skin is like completely dry um, because the slightest bit of moisture and this pills on me. Apparently I'm prone to making things pill, but I do really like it and I have not reacted to it, which is the main thing. So my camera ran out of battery there, so I just had to stop and charge it for a little while, but it's made me realise how long I had been filming for. So I think I'm going to wrap this video up here after just telling you about one last thing that I bought, which was a little travel micellar water. So I bought this for going on holiday because when I went on my cruise, my case was so heavy on the way out because I was going to Alaska, so I had you know, like boots and winter coat and stuff. So yeah, I did actually, I had first of all just packed from the toiletries I had and then I had to like unpack them and see what I could get in smaller versions. So this was one of the things that I purchased to go on holiday. So this needs added into my inventory. But I think that's the last thing that I'm going to share with you in this video because I suspect it is quite long enough. So 
Thank you very much for watching, especially for those of you who have got through to the end. I do have some more things to share with you, so I think there will be a part two to this video. I know I said I was sharing my spreadsheets, but I'll do that at the end of the part two video, so look out for that one coming. Thank you so much for watching this one, and I will see you next Sunday. Bye.